All right, I think we are ready to go. We should be live. You caught me here just typing in a cheat code. <gasps> Gasp, a cheat code. Yeah, this is the code that is going to disable the Super Sonic music. So we're going to get to listen to that sweet T Lopes music all throughout the run here. I am, of course, Arg. I'm going to be running Sonic Mania, Sonic and Tails. Good ending for you all here. And uh, I do have a host with me if you'd love to introduce yourself. Indeed, my name's Nordic Soy, and I'll be with you for the next couple hours. Yee, there we go. So sw swapping roles there for a little bit of a start there. As uh, Nordic knows, Og doesn't shut up, so he's going to let me go. And without further ado, that is exactly what we are going to do. So Tech, if you are ready on time, we are going to get ourselves underway here. Let's get ready to speedrun. Three, two, one. Speed run! And we're off. Sonic and Tails. Sonic Mania. Good ending. For those of you who've never seen this game before, welcome to Green Hell. The first level in almost every Sonic game because who loves a bit of nostalgia here? As we're going to run our way through the stage, grabbing ourselves the Chaos Emeralds as quickly as we can because in this game, you can get the Chaos Emeralds in about 10 minutes, which is really, really good. And that is 10 minutes while still doing some of the stages. So unfortunately, they're not getting the jump that we need from the slope, but that is all right, because we'll run into our secret corner here that has our first special stage. And away we go. So I hope you like Quake or Unreal Tournament, because we're going to be doing some strafe jumping here, bouncing to the left, bouncing to the right, taking it back, constantly bouncing from the left to right like that, allows us to maintain a lot of speed and build up even more speed to catch the emeralds there without using any of the blue spheres or any of the ring mechanics. We'll explain more of that as we go into the special stages now and again. Of course, our main form of movement here is the wonderful spin dash. We will be trying to do as many six out spin dashes as we can through the stages here. And the one thing you need to know about the stages is that it is a mix of nostalgic stages where act one is a mashup of the original stages in one stage, and then Act 2 is a brand new stage, but with a nostalgic twist to it. And it has special gimmicks. We'll speak about them as and when we come through. But if you look at Green Hell 1 here, you can see elements from the original Green Hell Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 all in the first stage. It's really cool how they've done it. But that is our second Chaos Emerald already collected. Two of seven to allow us to become supersonic. So we're going to just run our way up to the boss here, grabbing our invincibility box, as the name suggests. It makes us invincible for a short amount of time. But the time is long enough to us to get one, two, and three, and then hit the boss again. One, two, and three. And that is our first mini boss completed. As we're going to run our way through, line ourselves up for a jump at the very start of Act 2. So the gimmick for Act 2 that we're sending ourselves up for right now are these lovely little zip lines. We're not really going to be using them a whole lot, but they are there. You can see we already just jumped past one immediately. Going to run and jump our way through up to the top area. Going to be grabbing ourselves another Chaos Emerald in this stage. Just one, because we have our Chaos Emeralds routed in such a way where we do not go off the beaten path and we get to run our way through. We're going to grab our first elemental shield of the run. This is the fire shield. The fire shield gives us the horizontal dash, will protect us from fire damage, will also protect us from projectiles, and can burn any wooden elements that we happen to stand on, like the wooden bridges in this stage. It also has a special feature that you will see more of as we get into the game. Unfortunately, Fire Shield does not like war, so we say goodbye to that. We bounce to the left, over to the right, and we're going to take this line all the way through. We did not gain any speed there whatsoever, so I'm going to stop those bounces immediately. And unfortunately, we're going to just have to catch this emerald normally, I believe. So we're going to try and bounce on my backup strats here, bounce it around. I'm going to grab around, hopefully get it on the corner there. Into the wall, we went into the wall. We may have to give up this one, I'm afraid, because we didn't get the stage that we wanted. So that is a time over, and unfortunately, that is just simple because we didn't get enough speed speed on the first turn there therefore we couldn't do the bouncing off the corners at a high speed and alas we will have to grab a backup emerald but that is not a problem because we do have them available and we will still get them in studio opolis one so here comes our first boss we're going to run and jump underneath the big old death egg robot here Seeing the boss from Sonic 2 come in as the first boss, it's like, oh god, we're all in trouble. But thankfully, there isn't a hitbox in his legs. This means we get to run our way through and then use our buddy tails here to go and catch the capsule very early there, which is very nice for us. So we're going to run, jump, and bounce our way down into our next stage, which of course is the wonderful chemical plant zone. So Chemical Plan, exactly the same star as the original. We get these lovely half-pipe areas that we're going to go through up and down and up and down, run our way through, taking the top route here, which is not the IL level speed ride. And the reason for that is because special stages. Going to grab ourselves our special stages in here. We will be getting two from this stage and then probably one from our next stage. 
and we'll see how that goes, assuming we don't mess it up. So let's try and get this again. So there's the left bounce into the right bounce, this time holding the speed. Still not getting as much speed there for some reason. Let's see if I can keep it going. Nah, I've already ruined it. So I'm going to grab some rings now. I'm going to deliberately grab some rings here as well. So we grab more rings and then this time get our bounce. Why are we not getting our speed from our bounces here? We don't know. But we're going to bounce off that side there. Keep the speed on the corner. And there we go. There is our backup strat, which is great for us and allows us to run our way through. So always know your backups. If something goes wrong in a marathon run, don't panic. Have your backups. Go the way through and you'll be good to go. And now we do have our third emerald there. It does mean that we are one special ring behind, but we do have backups routed in the run here. But between the emeralds number three and number four here, there is 10 seconds of stage one giant hill to go down. And away we go in the special stage. It's going to take us in the special stage number four, where we're going to start by bouncing over to the right, taking it right back to the left. And we're going to keep jumping. Make sure we jump over the hole there. And bam, there is our emerald number four obtained already. Lovely purple emerald there. My favorite color and my favorite color of emerald as well. So we're going to run our way through now. And uh, there are two more emeralds available in this stage. However, as mentioned, we don't go for them simply because they are off the beaten track and it takes a little while to actually go and get them. Not really good when you're trying to save time in a speed run. Now, our buddy here, not really being uh, helpful at the moment, unfortunately slowing us down. So we're just gonna have to run our way through the stage and then head down to the other area. Gonna do some loop jumps here. Loop jumps are exactly as the name suggests. They are jumps from loops that allow us to build up speed. And the more of them we can do, the more speed we build up and the faster we can go so fast that we end up off the screen. Woohoo! Now we get our buddy Tails here. Going to the boss, not gonna get a hit there. Managed to get one instead of the double. This is damage boost to the boss. The boss is covering itself in the gimmick for the next stage, which is Flubber. And we are going to just make sure we take damage boosting, getting three hits on the boss each time the boss comes here, get our final two hits, and advance our way into the next stage. So there's the bubble shield. There are three items. Tails helping us out as always. No Tails, no do that. Don't want that, buddy. But uh, we are going to run our way through the stages now. So there are three hidden item boxes at the end of every stage. Ideally, you don't want to see them, but we managed to find one there. So now we're going into our next stage with the gimmick known as Flubber. We have the gloop that you see there. The dark blue gloop will damage you. Light blue gloop will give you a small bounce. And the green gloop will give you the big old bounce. And that is why it is called Flubber. We also have the purple gloop here, which will allow us to go up through the level. This is our first vertically based stage in the game. So there's going to be a lot of to and fro, a lot of left, a lot of right, as we try and get to the top of the stage, which is where our boss is hiding. It is also our first cycle based stage. We're trying to beat a cycle of our around 1 minute and 18 seconds here because there is a bulk cycle that started moving from the beginning of the stage and if you can get there by 118 you'll be able to skip a cycle. And we're going to roll our way down the stage right now. We're going to take intentional damage boosts here left, right and center just to allow us to move as quickly as we can. We're going to hit off the flower and meet our favorite enemy, Sniper. No, Snipey. Big jump up there. You see the Sniper bullet. Sniper did not Snipey. Holding the jump button right now, which will allow us to go down all the way back up using the height from the bounce there, getting us into this area. So we're not getting the dash there, but that's all right because the platforms are available. Into the 104 section, round and down. We might just be able to pull this off. We'll have to find out and see what happens here. Going to run our way through, going all the way up to the other side, in on the top there. 115 at the top. Can we sneak into the 117? Let's find out. In we go. 118 as we go through. That is exactly what we want to do. We skip the cycle. Loads to get in at the 124 into special stage number five which if things go well let's find out we bounce to the left we bounce to the right and then the button holds itself in stealing all our speed again which is not what i'm wanting here i'm hoping my controller is not dying because i feel like that is what's happening here it's just a brand new controller why are you doing this but it's all right because once again as i said know your backups that is what we want i think i may have already broken my controller which is not a good idea not in the middle of a speed run here oh no but there is emerald number five obtained Please don't break your control in the middle of a speedrun arc. That is not what we want to try and do here. Are we good? I've still got a little bit of a button there. Uh, but I may have broken my D-pad. We'll see. We'll see. The joys of breaking a D-pad if you're a Sonic speedrunner. Hmm, not something that we want to have happen, is it? All right, into our boss now. It is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Song. This and Puyo Machine. Let us see if we can get ourselves a good Puyo here. We want to try and get a Hailfire Strat. Going to be lining myself up with the buttons there. Okay, yeah, there is definitely something wrong with my buttons right now. But we're okay because I can set this up. I have strats available to me. We're just going to wing it. That is what we're going to do. So you're going to go up there. That is perfect. You're going to go on there. I've then got another blue with a purple. I don't want to drop that down yet. You're a blue, which is not 
cute. We're going to drop you on the other side down here, I think. Yes, that'll do. Then we've got another red with a blue. I'm going to put the blue down that side. I'm going to put the other blue down that side as well. This is going to give us a lot of blue. I'm actually not going to... Do you know what? I'm not going to get greedy. We're going to drop that just down right now. Because that's going to drop that down. We're going to drop that down. It's going to drop that down. We're going to allow us to advance through here. We're going to hold on to the purple there. We're going to take the green purple as well. We're going to take the red into the blue. If I can actually get another purple game, that would be grand. There's another purple coming in. Is it enough to get another purple after it? I get a double purple, which is going to allow me to take out the boss. Not as fast as I want it to be, but that is what we're looking for. And the boss will now fall down. We got way too many Puyo blocks there. The boss is gone. Not my fastest Puyo, but we will take it as we go. So that is all right for us there. But uh, yeah, run and jump and in we go. Where it stops, only the controller knows. But uh, we're just going to continue advancing our way through the stages as quickly as we can. This is where we're going to grab our back up Chaos Emerald in Studioopolis. Studioopolis, of course, the stage where the, uh, well, basically the first stage that was prototyped for Sonic Mania and sent in as the one. So we're going to run, we're going to jump over here and take the bounce. We fell down, which is not great. I'm going to have to go back up there, do another spin dash jump. Away we go, land it over. That's perfect. Then we turn our way down, grab ourselves our bonus ring in here. Special stage number six. Controller, do not make me mess this, please. Run, jump, bounce our way through. We missed the wall there. That's all right. In it back up strats it is. So we're going to jump, make sure we don't hit any of the walls. Or sorry, mines. We want to hit the walls. Don't want to hit the mines. Didn't want to hit that wall though. So we're going to take the emergency bounce. Allows us to catch up our emerald and away we go. So back up strats on top of back up strats there. Trying to deal with controller percent as well. So to our next level, we're going to go in. What we're deliberately going to do here is we're going to deliberately restart the stage because getting up back to the start of the stage takes way too long. So we just pause and then restart the stage. It will reset all our cycles. It will reset everything as if we are just entering the stage for the first time and allow us to go back on our proper track here. So away we go into our cycles all the way up and in. That is exactly what we're looking for there. Away we go. Drop dashing our way down. Got one more emerald to grab because, as we said, now you're back up. Oh, we got to go through now. So we're going to bounce once, going to bounce twice, and then get up onto the bouncers there, which takes us through. 14 seconds to drop dash our way around. We're going to grab as many rings as we can, because once we finish this part of the stage, we will have supersonic. We will have the ability to then transform. And if we can get 50 rings the moment we leave the area, then we are going to be in a good position. So we're going to grab ourselves some 46 rings there. That is fine, because we'll get the remaining four rings that we need on the loop, assuming that we do not fail this special stage. Yeah, I'm immediately not getting my boosts I need here. I think I've broken my D-pad for the uh, special stage strats here. We'll see what happens later. I'll have a look at my controller. Pray that we can fix it. <laughs> but there we go. That is all the Chaos Emeralds obtained. I don't have to worry about the 3D environment anymore. It is pure 2D from now on in. Sonic can now be supersonic. Every big ring will now give us 50 rings. And speaking of 50 rings, we are about to go and grab it. As we spin dash our way through the final loop there. Going to run, jump, grab, supersonic. Stand and spin dash our way through and away we go so we're going to jump over and grab our second elemental shield of the run it is the lightning shield lightning shield's passive ability will allow us to uh well it allows us to do a double jump but unfortunately when we're supersonic we don't get to use any of our passive abilities what this means uh, or sorry any of the active abilities what we do get to use are the passive abilities the passive ability of course is it will magnetize rings to us it also has another bonus feature that we will find out about in flying battery until then, however, we do have the boss of this stage. This is Heavy Gunner. Heavy Gunner, you just saw there firing three missiles. Top, middle, and bottom, aka one, two, and three. Gave us a two there. We want to get as many ones and as many twos as we can. Because getting threes is slow and not something that we want to do. So we're going to wait for the boss to come through here. See what other stuff we're going to get. That's a one. That is what we're looking for. Ones are really quick, and we're going to use our buddy Tails just to fly. The reason we fly with Tails on the left-hand side of the screen is so we can hit the transition point as quickly as we can. This allows us to transition into the next area, because each of this boss fight is basically constantly repeating itself, and you can use the transition point to, uh, well, you want to hit the transition point rather than have to do an entire section again. Tails keeps us in the middle area, which is the fastest area, because going uphill is slow and going downhill, well, it means you've got to go uphill afterwards. Staying in the middle is just nice. So we're going to go through now. We got two ones there. That was a two. Can we get another one? That was actually a really good boss fight. We got a two and three ones. That is the boss fight that we want. That is how you go further beyond right there. That is what you want to see. As we now come into our final part of the stage here. We're going to run our way and then deliberately slow ourselves down at the signpost. Because we do not want the signpost to spin up in the air. Do a little spin and come down. Because that wastes ourselves time. 
But with Act 1 complete, we're now going to go jump inside the TV studio here. It is time for some Egg TV. Egg TV, of course, Eggman's TV studio, where he's filming who knows what at this point in time. But with the lightning shield, that allows us to run, dump, jump, and double jump our way through all the stages. Let's see if we can get through the Orbanaut. Through the Orbanaut immediately, which is wonderful. And means we're going to grab ourselves our rings that we need, which is perfect to get ourselves into the next area. So we're just going to run, jump, and keep ourselves going through. Lands on this area, transforms immediately because we already have 53 rings. Allows us to just run, jump, and drop dash our way down the rest of the stage. Now we're going to take a couple of cycles here just to roll our way around. Let the stage play out as is. Making sure we don't end that yellow spring or that red bumper. Allows us to get into the area immediately. Run, jump our way through. Head our red springs into our funnel. Straight through the funnel there. You see Tails spinning. Taking a little bit longer to get us. But we are all good. So we're going through, we're going to wait, going to stop, we're going to jump up to the top area here. This skips out a nice little bit of the level that we don't have to do. And then down into our final funnel, and we run our way to the boss. Now an interesting thing about the boss here, or rather an interesting thing about our buddy Tails, is that when our buddy Tails is holding Supersonic, he is also invincible. So Supersonic shares the invincible power up with Tails here. So we're going to get Tails, we're going to get Tails to fly, hold on to Supersonic, and we're just going to sit inside the boss's hitbox. There's a good chicken on the screen there. Good chicken is supposed to tell us what the weather report is, but we don't need any of that because the boss is already gone. And we're going to hit our castle and head into the one, the only, the flying battery. Argic. Yes. Money. Money. Go ahead. Money. All right. <laughs> We've got Plato 2876 coming in with $36.50 saying, Hey, all the backups and redirection? Always impressive to see in our run and commentary. Here's to a showcase to extend the marathon some. Thank you so much, Plato. Ah, very much. We are now in flying battery. I got myself a secret fire shield that we're going to use to our full advantage here. Going to run, jump, and then fire dash our way across some of the rings. Allows us to land in the cylinder because down below us right now is death. And we do not want the death, but we're going to run our way through, making sure we get all the way in. Going to go down all the way up to the next side here, grabbing ourselves the rings and our lightning shield. And the secret property of the lightning shield is magnets. That's right. If you're in an area that has these magnetic ceilings, the lightning shield will pull you towards them, allowing you to run on the ceiling there, which is exactly what we want to see. We want to make sure we get to this area by the 48 second cycle. I'm going to wait so we don't get squished there as we come around up to the top section, right our way around, going to get ourselves at the missile area. And hopefully our buddy Tails will not be eating any missiles because he's already had enough iron today and he doesn't need any more. So waiting for our missile cycle to come here, our buddy Tails nowhere to be seen, thank you very much. Gonna wait, drop dash our way through, grab another lightning shield, double lightning shield, as cool as it is unfortunately, does not do anything. But get down on the second missile, all the way down to the boss fight, which is of course gonna tell us the gimmick for the next stage as well. There is our boss's blueprints for flying battery act 2. Will we see that boss? It depends if we pull the skip off or not, you may or may not, we'll have to wait and see what the run brings. But again, just going to sit in the boxes, hit box there. You're meant to be waiting until the boss pushes the garbage in, allowing you to then hit the boss. But we can fly with tails. We're invincible. Allows us to just skip the boss almost instantaneously. Speaking of skipping, we're going to skip the cutscene here. We're just going to lose our lightning shield, but that is okay because there's another one in the stage. And we're going to run our way through this stage as quickly as we can. Normally, the top route is the best route in a Sonic speedrun. However, in this case, we want to take the bottom route for one reason only. And that is, there's a big ring down here. And that big ring allows us to transform into Supersonic immediately. The other reason, of course, is the fact that the stage is absolutely massive. And the top route is how you go and explore the rest of the stage. We do not want to explore the stage. We want to finish this as quickly as we can. Arc accidentally jumping off the switch there just a little bit too early. Has to wait until we go all the way up as we go through. And hopefully, we'll be hearing more from Nordic Soil later on. Because there'll be an entire stage dedicated to him. As we get to go through here, gets our lightning shield. We're going to be using that later on in the stage here for the boss skip. Now, the boss skip that's coming up is very, very interesting. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to despawn a kill plane and then using the lightning jump to get to an area that is out of bounds and use our buddy Tails to hit the boss capsule. Uh, we get one attempt at this. I'm hoping it goes well. But to do that, we need to use this checkpoint to turn off Supersonic. So this will turn off Supersonic for us. This will allow us to use our Lightning Shield Jump. And hopefully, we will get what we're looking for here. So we got our buddy Tails here. We're going to have to babysit him right now. We need to bring him with us through the rest of the stage here. As we want to try and skip the boss fight. So we're going to wait on this to launch us up and down through the stage. 
and land our way through his door. Buddy Tails is here, which is always nice. We got him in. We're going to line ourselves up on this spring. We're going to run. We're going to jump. We're going to hold it. We're going to jump off. We're going to jump again. I think I'm dead. Unfortunately, we jumped a little bit too early there, which means we're unable to do the boss skip as we no longer have any lightning shield before we get stuck in the boss area. So now we have to go and grab every ring that we can see here because that will allow us to transform into supersonic for the boss fight. So we are losing a little bit of time, but you know, you gotta give it a go in a marathon, you know? That's just how it works. So we land up here. This time we're not gonna kill the enemy as we don't need to. As we're gonna go through, make sure we spin ourselves around here. We're gonna jump, grab our shield here. There's the lightning shield, but unfortunately we cannot get past that spring there. That spring too strong. And we're gonna go and do the boss. So introducing the boss of this stage. Welcome, meet Egget. Because if you look at the sprite, it looks like it's a little girl piling a giant egg rather than being Eggman upside down. Listen, it's canon, okay? Egget is piling the ship. Eggman has a niece. So this boss is invincible to us. We need to hit the boss into the spikes here. If Eggman never had these spikes, the boss wouldn't die. But, you know, Eggman doesn't think of things before. So now we get to hit the boss onto the spikes in the second cycle there. Not bad for us at all. So we're going to run our way through to our next stage, the wonderful Press Garden Zone. Because Eggman is equipped to send his message across the entire world. He has a radio station. He has a Twitter. He has a podcast. He has a TV station. He even has an old school printing press for newspapers. And that is where we are right now. Into Press Garden we go. We're going to try and make the zero cycle in this stage. Needing to get up to a block cycle around the 26 second mark. The question is, can we do it? The answer, honestly, I've got no idea. But we'll try and see if we can get the bounces that we need. So we're going to run our way through. We have got 10 seconds from this point on to get there. Can we do it? If we don't get those drop dashes, no, we can. It's going to be tight as we run our way through. Straight into the section. 23, 24, 25. Oh, and we just missed it. So it's going to respawn on the 29 second mark there. Unfortunately, we didn't quite make it in time, which is unfortunate. But alas, we did get there eventually. Up to our standard up to our standard cycle at this point, basically. So the stage itself, another vertically based stage, filled with a lot of crushers and a lot of bouncy things, trying to bounce you around the stage in the quickest possible way. But we don't have to worry about it because we know where we're going. In fact, we're gonna do a lovely little trick coming up here where we're gonna drop dash right off a ramp and send ourselves flying up to the top right here. So here we go, up to the top section. Let's just land and do a number of jumps. Gonna grab a fire shield. That is gonna be important for act two as this is where we're going to see the special property for the fire shield. So we're going to run, jump, and everybody in chat, if you have any waving emotes, please do get them ready, as we're about to go and see the lovely Shiver Saw boss, who watches over this facility. And the boss is nice, introduces itself by waving to us. Hey boss, how you doing? So wave to the boss, everybody. Then we got to go beat it up, unfortunately. And once we've got to the boss here, three, four, five, and six. Goodbye, boss. Bye boss waves to us as it blows up and we run our way to our next area keep an eye on sonic here as we run into press garden 2 sonic's got a bit of swag for us you can see he's facing backwards here that can mean only one thing swag backwards walking by sonic right there always good and the special property of the fire shield is it prevents you from getting frozen Ta-da! yes the fire shield's bonus property here is that it will destroy any object made of ice and will prevent you from being frozen. That is really important in this stage specifically because it allows us to advance through the stage without worrying about getting frozen and falling down to the bottom right. We already have 42 rings here. We don't even need to grab any more because there's a 10 ring box right here that allows us to transform and run our way through the rest of the stage, which is always good for us. Allows us to run, jump, and in we go. Where it stops, only Sonic knows. Sonic, do you know where you're going, buddy? What do you mean you don't know where you're going? Well, we've got a problem. Nah, we're all good. Sonic's gonna run, jump all the way up to the top of the stage here. And we are gonna get into the Heavy Shinobi fight around the 50 second mark here. As we get down to our boss fight and Heavy Shinobi drops out of the sky. Time for a hitbox fight. Whose hitbox is bigger? The answer, of course, is mine. Because that allows us just to stand in the hitbox there. After three hits, you get frozen. Two more hits. <clears throat> you need to take a breath of air there. The boss dies and away we go. So I am gonna take a quick drink as we move into the next area. Mm -hmm. Remember, folks, always stay hydrated even when you're taking giant speeches through the runs. I know, right? I need to take a breath. What? Didn't you take a breath there? Breathe, Ark, breathe! As we run our way through to Stardust Speedway here, 
we get to run, jump our way through the maze area. This maze area, if you've never been in there before, is a bit uh, long, but thankfully for us, we're all right. Gonna wait for that lightning bug to get out of our way. The game is trying so very hard to get in my way right now, but we are fighting it back. I'm gonna keep ourselves up there. In we go, down into the booster there. You wanna let me out, game? Thank you very much. As we run our way through, great start to the start of this stage. As we run our way through now, wanna try and get ourselves 50 rings ASAP. And that way we can transform into Super Sonic. But first, we have to pass the deadliest room in the game, the giant spike room here. So we've got our platform coming down with spikes on it. We've got our armadillos in the way. As long as the armadillos don't push us into the spiky platforms, we will be fine. Lands up the top there, grabs some rings. Got a set of eight there, but we only managed to grab six of them. Allows us to grab the rest at the end here, and away we go. So up to the top now. Let's see if our platform is there. It is. We launch ourselves. Do we get the big stand? Oh, we didn't land on the slope, unfortunately. So no big speed boost for us there, but that is A-OK. -okay, as we're going to run our way through and just get to the end of the stage now. Probably at about a 110 mark. In we go up and through. There we go. 109. And then the boss appears. Giant lightning bug. Get two hits immediately. Destroy the three mini ones that appear. And then get the final four hits on the boss. And away we go to the future. Because, or in this case, the present. Because we're in the past and then we go to the present. And we never get to see the future in this one, unfortunately. Maybe one day we'll get more DLC and we'll get to see the future stage. Hmm? But yeah, so that is that stage done. We are now going to go into Act 2, which is effectively the stage that plays itself, you know? It is one of those things where you have a look at it, you see what's happening, and then we take it from there. So Stardust Speedway Act 2, big old spin dash start there, into the drop dash immediately, grabbing as many rings as we can, making sure we don't get hit by the booster that sends you backwards because we knew that booster was going to do it. Don't know why I knew it was going to do it, but I had that feeling in my bones that it was going to trick me, and alas, it did. But we're all right, we're gonna run, jump our way through here, we're gonna grab ourselves all the rings that we can. After the second loop, we're gonna jump, we're gonna take our way all the way down to the area that effectively plays itself. Look, like man, no hands, Woohoo! Better hold the controller though, because once we get out of here, we do need to control the game, specifically doing a jump right there, allows us to go over and not do what Tails just did, which is fall down into the, well, the abyss. Tails immediately coming back here though, into our boss fight. This boss fight is split up into three sections. We've got a chase section, we've got a silver Sonic section from the 8 big games, and then a metal Sonic Kai section. However, we are going to skip the 8 bit section, so I'm sorry, all you 8 bit fans, but we are not going to be doing any of that shenanigans today as we're going to run, jump, and spin dash our way through and do our first instance of clipping in this game. So unlike classic Sonic games where there are zips and clips and level wraps and all that kind of shenanigans, we don't actually have any of that in this one. So we're going to line ourselves up here. We're going to do a one-tap spin dash. We're going to hold right. We're going to release right in the wall there and then just jump our way up through the area here. What that allows us to do is that is allowing us to bypass the second boss room and head straight to the third area. The reason for that is simply because the game engine was designed where if you get stuck in an area that you're not supposed to be, the only way you can go is up. Uh, unfortunately, nine times out of 10, when you try and do that, you'll hit an invisible Eggman block that is going to immediately crush you because it's their way of preventing you from getting stock block. Uh, now, however, we do get to use this a second time later on in the run in Lava Reef. But uh, two little skips that are really cool. But before we get to Lavery, we're going to chill off a little bit in the Hydro City zone. So this is one of the harder zones in the game, simply because there are no checkpoints for us in this zone in the route that we take. We take a hybrid of the top, middle, and the bottom route all at the same time. And the reason for that is just because it's the fastest way. So we go up to the very top route here. Uh, there are no checkpoints available. When there is a checkpoint, we jump down to the middle route, which means we skip the checkpoint. And then when we get to the area, it's going to take us all the way back to the top route in a minute. Once we jump into that enemy, it allows us to grab the chain, running away from the piranhas there, up to the top route again, because this is the secret entrance into the top route. We're then going to casually get ourselves caught here and jump through the floor, grabbing our final elemental shield, the wow bull shield. Good old bubble shield here. It prevents you from drowning in water and will also give you the bubble bounce. The bubble bounce is very important for the next stage. You'll find out why soon. Now we're at the very bottom part of the stage. And uh, yeah, so no checkpoints, as we were saying. Going all the way through here, I'm going to be able to make my cycle here, which is always nice. And then hopefully get one more jump through the ground. If as long as there's that light brown ground, it's apparently thin enough that if you build up enough speed, Sonic just says, what up, and just goes right through it. Like that. Just doesn't exist for him. It's like, I'm too fast. I'm going through the ground. I do what I want. It's great. And now we get Eggman in some scuba gear. 
He is, when scuba diving, trying to lay a dastardly trap for us here. Going to be creating a little bit of a cave-in. Gonna cause things to start collapsing on us, but it's all right, because Supersonic has an amazing amount of jump height in this area. Nothing that we have to worry about. As we get to run our way through, all the way up to the top section, and then down and in. Well done, Tails. But of course, now I have a PSA for all you evil geniuses out there. If you're an evil genius, please do not leave your eggmobiles unattended or random hedgehogs, foxes, echidnas, armadillos, or flying squirrels may decide to come and commandeer them. As you can see here, we are doing the reverse boss fight from Sonic 3. At first, it was Robotnik causing the whirlpools for us. Now it's us that are doing them, and he's getting absorbed. They're trying to drop the mines, but it is not enough, and we get to take out the boss fight. I the bubble shield acting as a very nice little canopy over the eggmobile there. As we get to run our way through into Act 2, and this is where our bubble shield comes in handy, as we are going to be using, hopefully, the bubble bounce to do the triple bubble bounce to skip a cycle right at the very start. Let's see how this works out. So we're going to spin dash, we're going to run our way through, get caught by the hand, and then as we come through the area here, we go one, two, three, and four, and then do the jump. So we got an extra bounce in there. The triple bubble bounce evolved into the quad bubble bounce. That allows us to get up to this top route here, because if you fall down to the bottom route in Hydro 2, then just restart the stage and make sure you come to the top route here. The top route is super important to do. It is a lot faster. Now, deliberately losing the bubble shield there, and the reason for that is because if you have any of the elemental shields, you lose the ability to drop dash. The primary ability, the bubble bounce, the double jump, or the fire dash, replaces your drop dash, and the drop dash is faster in this stage. But as we get up to our checkpoint here, we are going to grab ourselves the lovely supersonic form, and we're going to just skip a nice chunk of the stage here by simply doubling back on ourselves, jumping up very, very high, hitting the path swapper, which allows us to skip that infinity section, and we'll be doing that a second time by jumping through the ground. Why? Because Sonic games. It's not a Sonic game unless you go through a wall or the floor at some point, is it? Going to grab the hand there, gives us a hand up, going to grab our emergency bubble shield here that will protect us in the boss fight. Big jump up and over, running our way through the stage, Run, jump, and fall down the bottom here. About turn, jump casually through the ground there. Have enough speed, have enough height, and you will go through that ground as if it wasn't even there. As we now head into our boss fight, and the best thing about this boss fight is that it teaches you what you need to do at the very start here. So we're going to hold on to this bar. The boss is going to push us away, and then the boss is going to introduce us to these bombs. The idea is that we send these bombs to the boss to take damage. However, we are supersonic, we are invincible. That means we can use ourselves as an extra mine here. So we get the hits on the boss and that allows us to get that boss in one cycle, sending us into phase two immediately. Welcome to the washing machine. The washing machine is set to spin cycle. It is revving up. Unfortunately, once again with our buddy tails, we kill the boss immediately. And now we are getting ourselves ready to go to the midpoint of the run. A lovely little auto schooler. We're going for a stroll on our plane here. And uh, we're going to have a buddy join us. We're going to have a buddy join us in Mirage Saloon here. We've got our buddy Knuckles joining us with us. But uh, unfortunately, Mirage Saloon decides to go. Oh, no. And there he goes. Uh, unfortunately, Knuckles is now sent all the way down to his own stage of Mirage Saloon Ad 1. Some people say it is the better stage there, but alas, the oh no has came out. Knuckles is gone, and uh, that is that. So, now that we're in an auto-scroller here, I'm going to pass it over to the one, the only, Nordic Soy. If you've got anything you love to say, the stage is yours. Huh, I'm out of breath and I'm not the one talking here, my god. <laughs> We do have some donations in. We've got a $1 from F. Paul. He happens to say, I wonder what would happen, dot, dot, dot. Then we have a dollar from F. Paul that says, dot, 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 would happen if, dot, dot, dot. Then we've got another dollar from F. Paul that says, dot, 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 someone suddenly, dot, dot, dot. We've got a dollar from F. Paul saying, dot, dot, dot. Put in a lot of donations. Dot, dot, dot. And a dollar from F. Paul saying dot, dot, dot to read during this run. F. Paul, thank you for the five dollars so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, if we didn't have that stage, then they wouldn't get read is basically what would happen. 
<laughs> but uh, very, very well played there. Five individual dollar donations to get that message right out. We should have spaced them out between the levels. It would have been a great story all the way through. An idea for next time, maybe. Hmm. But yeah, we are coming up to the end of the stage now. We've got a little glitch that we're going to do here. When the train comes on the screen, you're going to see Happy Eggman. Woo -woo. We're going to jump. We're going to transform. The game now doesn't know if we're on the foreground layer or if we're on the background layer. So it's going to let us hit the checkpoint in the background and then immediately kill us by crushing us with the spikes that are in the background. So it must have thought we were in the background, but this allows us to skip the entire train section. Just like that. So away to our boss now, coming into our boss fight. The boss fight is a giant caterpillar. It can move in three different ways. It can jump out the sand once, it can jump out the sand three times, or it can go to the left or right hand side. That will allow me to get two hits. And let's see what pattern we're gonna get today. So it jumped out once. Let's see what it does again. It jumped out three times, because it never does a two, it always does a three. And what about our final hit here? Oh, and you're going off to the left. So we're going to be able to hit the boss twice there. Or not because we didn't get to roll. Where's our last one? Back to the left again. That's just fine and dandy game. Thank you very much. And there we go. Falling our way down. So we get the boss done there. The stage done in 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Allows us to run our way through now. Unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to the tornado. As the tornado is about to get shot down. And unfortunately, we won't get to find out who the culprit is. As we're going to be skipping the cutscenes. But into Mirage Saloon at 2 here. Very short stage, very fun stage. And the home of my favorite glitch here. And the reason why we bring our buddy Tails along. So we're going to run our way through the stage here as quickly as we can. Grabbing as many rings as we can. Allowing us to get supersonic pretty much 10 seconds into the stage here. I think you're beginning to see a pattern, right? But we're going to run our way through, making sure we're holding the buttons that allow us to go as fast as we can. Going to run and jump into the cannon section here. Going to launch ourselves up and over into the middle route. Tail's already trying to get up to the top right there, but it's all right because we can catch him no problem. As we get to run our way through, one, two, three, four, big jump onto the floor. Make sure we fall down into this section here. Need our buddy to come with us though, because what we're going to need him to do is we're going to need him to appear for ice cream strats. So we're laying ourselves up at the ice cream here. Tails gets his ice cream, nom, nom, nom. We send him down into the boss room. We do the tap and we jump and then Tails hits the capsule for us. We line Tails up at the ice cream. We send him down into the boss room, facing the way of the capsule. We single task in dash, jump at the ice cream, and then Tails will hit the capsule, allowing us to skip the boss. Hence why we call them ice cream strats. And I love it to bed. As we're now into Oil Ocean Zone here, gonna make sure we don't get set up to the top there. As we wanna come down the bottom here to grab ourselves the wonderful big ring that allows us to transform into supersonic and get up to the top right here using the power of the fans to run our way through. So fans going up and in and away we go. Where it stops, nobody knows as we slide all the way down to the oil. And then we're heading up to the area. Gonna take the bomb right there because we don't wanna get crushed. And you know what? I, I've got a bit of a craving. I just want to eat chili dogs. Can't say the rest on a marathon stream. But if you get that reference, I love you. It gives you, it gives you a hint of my age there, if you know that reference. Do we just want to eat chili dogs? Yes, we do. Welcome to Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder, can he fix it? He could if Sonic and Tails weren't here causing havoc. Unfortunately, not going to get hit. Any hit off there, away we go. No attack for him. And you can see the gimmick of Oil Ocean 2 here. That is the smog on the screen. We're going to line ourselves up where we're going to break the gimmick by leaving the smog on the screen. And we're going to go all the way down. So Tails is not going to hit the thing for us. We're going to spin dash away so we can't. This allows us to get through the area there. Run and jump and grab 50 rings as quickly as we can. And this is a stage where we're going to do another boss skip, but we're going to have a little bit of fun. So the way the game works here is this game runs on foreground layers and background layers. If you have a look at the screen here, you'll see that sometimes I'm in the front of some objects, other times I'm at the back. Now, that is determined by these path swappers that we've been talking about. We are going to break those path swappers, and we're going to do it in style. What we're going to do is we're going to go into what I like to call the magic box. Now, the magic box is an area where there is a background path swapper and a foreground path swapper pretty much right next to each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our buddy Tails to maintain the background layer, or not, because I just managed to go too fast and completely skip that section. So forget the magic box. We can't do the trick anymore. Alas, we're going to have to go and fight the boss. 
Now, that's a bit of a downside because I was looking forward to showing that off. But basically, the gist of it is that the floor is no longer solid. I have to use the oil to get to the end of the level without triggering the boss fight. Instead, we get to see the boss fight. So that's all right. It saves about 15 seconds if you get the skip. But because we have to do the boss, we get to enjoy some Lava Reef shenanigans afterwards. Yep, yep. It happens. You just got to go through it when things go wrong. But as we said, it's a marathon run. As long as we're having fun with it, right? So we wait for the boss here to do. This is why we want to skip this boss, because there is a cycle where we can't do anything. But when the boss pops back out, we're already in his hitbox. He can't do anything to us. We're going to just wait for the platform to come up, and away we go. As we get to go in towards the end of the stage now and hit our capsule and take us into Lava Reef. So we get that complete. We're now heading into my favorite stage of the game. Lava Reef is just such a smooth stage, such a fun stage to do, both Lava Reef 1 and 2. So I'm going to take a hold of these rings that I have here. I'm going to keep a hold of them as quickly as I can and get up to the only time where we're going to go off the beaten path. And the reason for that is because there is a smorgasbord of rings waiting for us at the top of the spring, hidden in this block here. So away up and in we go. Grab those rings. We need two more as we get to go through. And there we go. Supersonic immediately. 20 seconds in to the stage here. So this is just a stage where there is not much happening. It is just smooth, sonic speed running. No glitches to worry about. Lots of cool little mini tech here where we're spin dashing, we're jumping, we're drop dashing, we're doing what we can. So if we've got any donations or anything, now is a perfect stage for it. I just want to remind people that we're raising money for Save the Children here, and every dollar that you donate goes straight into uh, their bucket. So it, it's a great cause. We've been raising money for them over the years with the, a number of different marathons. I love raising money for Save the Children. I'd love to see us raise even more. $487 so far. Let's try and break 500 before the end of my shift. That'd be great. <laughs> That would be amazing. Getting 500 in there would be absolutely phenomenal. And we get a big jump there, but unfortunately we hit the top of the ceiling, which means we didn't get to do a big old stair jump. But that is all right, because we've still got more than enough rings to get from here to the end of the stage and complete the boss fight. Almost there, though, getting two more descents. We've got to go down this area, and we've got one more spinny platform. And then down, grabbing our lava shield. Our lava shield? Yes, I'm calling it the lava shield now. Grabbing our flame shield for Lava Reef 2. Although, we're not really going to use it, because I'm going to do a cool little glitch before we get there. We are going to turn Lava Reef into Dark Lava Reef. So here we have our boss. Our boss has super armor right now. I cannot hit the boss. The boss cannot hit me. We're going to wait for the boss to lose its super armor. It has to get hit by that superheated magma twice in a row here. And then the middle becomes vulnerable. If you do it a third time, the left and right sides also become vulnerable. Because the middle is vulnerable, we don't have to worry about that in the slightest. And it's going to allow us to run our way through here. So in, 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 and on. There's a phantom head as well. Gotta love it. So you can see that the timer has stopped. You can see that we came out of supersonic. And yeah, but the boss still continued. That is what we call a phantom hit. We don't know why they happen, but they just do. It's as if it registers a hit, but at the same time, doesn't. Anywho, time for Dark Lava Reef. We're going to let this cutscene play out halfway when the lights go dim and then the level switches and then we hit the start button. And if we've done it correctly, Lava Reef lights are now out. It is much darker than it should be. You can see the only thing that is lighting our way right now are the crystals on the screen, which is absolutely majestic. This is such an amazing effect. And I love the fact that we get to show it off in great detail like this. So we're just going to run our way through. I'm going to not hit that platform right now. We're going to get it back up as the platform comes down. Send our buddy Tails off and then line ourselves up for the final clip. That box there that we just jumped off of, we are going to get stuck in there. And the game is going to push us into the wall. And the reason for that is because we're not supposed to be in solid objects. This allows us to jump up, skipping that entire bottom area. Because if you go to the bottom area to get the big ring, you're supposed to go down the bottom area and take the rest of the track. However, we don't need to do that. We can go back up the top. We can Hannah Montana it. We can get the best of both worlds as we get to run our way through and then down to the bottom area here. Probably expecting a face palm or two after that pun. But, you know, it's what happens when you're speed running with me. We love a good joke every now and again. But a warning that the lights are about to come back on as well in about 15 seconds when we transition back into the boss area. We're about to fight Heavy Rider and Jimmy, the Moto Bug, as we run our way through, getting guided by the crystals to the end. I love the purple effect. Like, honestly, the purple effect is just the best. As we get to go in and through. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. 
So now we're going to head up into our next area. It is, of course, the boss arena here. Four quick hits with the boss going to the left. Four quick hits with the boss going to the right. And hopefully this boss fight will be done. So one, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three, and four. There we go. The boss is done. As we fly our way up. And we're going to head into our next stage. And I have one question for you all, chat. Just one. Is this anime? Hmm. So coming up into Metal Man this year, Metal Man just follows the same rule as Hydro City 2. If you fall down to the bottom part of this level, just restart and stay in the middle if you can. The middle route is the much easier route to do as we run our way through. And this is anime. This is anime. Is this anime? We love anime. I can't unhear that. I believe I heard it in Grimmy Hunter's chat the first time, but that little beat there just says, is this anime? This is anime. Can we I read a donation? Yes, you may. All right. Uh, we got $5 from F. Paul saying, <clears throat> all right, it's me again. I'm so sorry for making you work so much with all these donations. You're right. Without that stage, there would have probably not been the slightest chance to get that into this run. So I'm going to make this as short as possible so this donation can be squeezed into a short break that will be hard to find. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Thank you for the wonderful commentary and run so intense and so much tension. Lorem, Ipsum's Dolores, hit Ahmed. Is this still beer? And Red Shadow's Nordic for the bravery putting in his donations between all this commentary and probably getting murdered for reading it all out loud. Greetings, F. Paul. F. Paul. P.S. Pull that Yoka tail. Woo. Nice! Nailed it! Super fast donation reading. Don't let it be said that it can't be done. Nordic soil. Nailing that! Nailing that donation as we get through the stage there. And uh, we get to do a boss. Now, would this be a time to tell you that it would be a perfect time for more donations? <laughs> you, you know what? That's fine, actually, because we got $8 from Stubat that just says, Speedrun category, $500, and we just hit it! $500 for Save the Children. Thank you, everyone, so much for your generosity. Thank you very much for that. That is great news. So that's phase one of the boss done. Now we get to play counting with Arg. Every fourth fist in the boss will appear. So one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. One, two, three, and four. Ah, ah, ah. One, two, three, and four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. One, two, three, and four. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, and the boss is gone just like that. And we get ahead into Act 2 of Metallic Madness here. Taken straight from Sonic CD, we get the amazing Shrink Ray, which means we're going to get to see our favorite little character, Chibi Sonic and Chibi Tails, as they go their way around the machine here. And uh, we're also going to get to hear the Super Sonic theme, because for some reason, if you transform into Super Sonic while you are Chibi, you do not get to hear, or sorry, it deactivates the supersonic code that you put in. So, you get to hear the supersonic music for at least one level. I'm so sorry to everybody who loves the saxophone, but in the name of speed, we are going for the supersonic music. So here we go, supersonic now obtained, supersonic music now playing, going through, going in as fast as we can, waiting for this lovely little crusher to get out of our way here, as we do not want to get crushed by it. Let's see if we make it through this section in time. We do indeed, that is exactly what we want to see. We're now racing towards the end of the stage here to get there before 58 seconds. 58 seconds is when our little platform is going to be ready for us and it will spin and allow us into the boss arena. We have got 10 seconds from this point to try and make it. Can we do it? Let us find out as we run, we jump, we spin, we drop dash. Can we get over 54 seconds? We've got three, two, one, and no death. Nailed it! As we run our way through into the boss now. I hope you like gumball machines with surprises. Because we've got ourselves a surprise machine in here. Look what we got. We got a Sonic 1 boss. A cuddly Amy toy. Another Sonic 1 boss. Another Amy toy. It's another Sonic 1 boss. It's another Amy. It's a Sonic 2 boss. Finally. And another Sonic 2 boss. And there we go. Now we're going to see if we can get a final surprise. A surprise Eggman. Out of nowhere. Surprise Eggman coming down from the screen there. Tails being a bro. Getting that early hit for us there. As we now come into our second last stage of the run. My favorite action stage. My favorite out of all the new stages here. Welcome to the Titanic Monarch. The stage that puts all final stages to shame, in my opinion. This puts everything that you've learned from this game into the mix and tries to basically throw everything, including the kitchen sink at you. So, got to be very, very careful there. Our objective, of course, as always, is to get 50 rings as quickly as we possibly can. 
which will allow us to then get supersonic and run our way through at blistering supersonic speed. So we're going to run, jump, and tails once again. Not flying for us in time there, unfortunately. That's the second time today he's done that. But that is all right, because we have our backup route here that allows us to go through the normal set of the stage where we're just going to run and jump and take our way right towards the end. As we go all the way up here, up, 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 grabbing authority rings into the crash test dummy section. Sonic, not a fan of being a crash test dummy there. And we're going to bounce our way down. Bounce, 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 bounce. Runs our way through. Away we go. Spin dashing our way through here. Going to save the transformation for the giant orb room here in case we need to transform because we missed an orb. So we're going to launch our way up here. One, two, three, and four. Orbs not missed. And then we transform some more. Let's see if we're going to get some wonky camera today. Wonky cameras where the camera moves up very, very slowly. And uh, if I go a little bit too quickly, we'll get some wonky camera on this section, which uh, we just did. So we've got wonky camera now. Uh, I'm playing with the game currently, fighting me in the camera sense. I'm all right. I didn't get hit. I didn't get squished. So I'm going to take that as a victory. Thanks for playing wonky camera. Thank you very much for playing there. As we got to run our way through now, going in, going down, going round, navigating our way round the outside of the giant Titanic monarch there. What you are seeing in the background there is the facility that is building these giant machines. And we're about to go inside one of them. So we're going to grab our gravity orb here. Orb number one, in a two, in a three, in a four, up to the top. And then the wonderful red eye from Sonic 3 has been upgraded to Crimson Eye. So if red eye is the right eye, Crimson Eye must be the left eye. First phase, still the same. Eight hits, take out the orbs there. And then we change it up where the machine can control the elevator here. If the elevator is going up, we get heavy gravity. If the elevator is going down, we get light gravity. However, as supersonic, that does not matter for us. We just get to jump, hit the boss eight times, and I'm moving on to Act 2. So Act 2 is the finale here, the final action stage of the run, but not the last stage. We are going into six different areas here. Starts off with this little entryway. Then we're going to end up in the hub room, which has four distinct corridors to it. And finally entering the boss room. So we're going to head into this area here. Going to start with the bottom left-hand corner. The reason for that is simple. The secret exit of this area contains a lightning shield. Lightning shield plus supersonic equals overpowered. And we are going to have every single ring chase us through the remainder of the stage, allowing us to take supersonic into the final boss fight. So we're just going to run. We're going to jump here. I jumped a little bit early there, so I'm going to have to do a spin dash. We're going to run, jump, drop dash, and jump up. Running almost vertically up the wall there into another crash test dummy section where we jump out, grab our rings, and then jump all the way across, landing off the monkey's head into the top there. I'm going to miss that cycle, so we'll transform into super, which will allow us to jump in. And then we're going to just jump our way back through to the end of the stage. Now we're going to hold that as fast as we can. And then when we get up to the top section here, off to the right-hand side is where our lightning shield is hiding. As we go into the secret wall here, up to the top, grab our set of 10 rings and our lightning shield, and now up to the top left. Top left section, one of the more dangerous zones, simply because we have the most dangerous enemy in the game. It is the Pistons. These Pistons are mean. If you are standing in between the Pistons or are beside a wall and a Piston as they pass each other, you will get crushed and it's no fun. So make sure you don't get crushed by them as we run our way through. Going to grab onto that. Going to yeet ourselves through the cogs here and running our way through the rest of the stage. Going to skip that little hole there because we have super getting under the areas before the platforms block our way due to the spikes and run our way down. So we're getting our way through the stage here very, very nicely. Going to fall down into the area, into another crash test dummy section. And we're going to escape by jumping down the hole. And away we go. So now up into the top left section. The top left section is a very vertically based start of the zone. We're going to go down to go up. So down to the very bottom here. Going to take us to another set of the orbs that we're going to get to. And then we're going to use the orbs to get up to the very top as quickly as we can. Completely dodging the secret route. Because unfortunately as supersonic, we cannot do the glitch to skip the stage. So we're going to run and jump up here. Going to land right up to the very top one there, which is very, very nice. Into the bottom right right now, where we get a little bit of swag. I call this the swag room because one, we get a run on the ceiling like that. And two, I get to prepare you for what's coming up with the boss fight. So, we are supersonic. We are invincible. The boss will have a shield. The shield makes him invincible until the shield is dropped. Well, the shield is dropped. We can get hits on the boss. But until then, I like to play a little mini game. The mini game is, guess how many times Arg is going to bonk off the boss? Because when we hit the shield, it makes a nice boring noise. 
How many hits do you think Sonic and Tails are going to get against the boss's shield? Give me a number between 50 and 80. How many bonks off the shield do you think we're going to get? I don't even need to guess 69 because somebody is going to guess 69. And there it is right there, of course. Every time. All right, so we're going to hit the boss now. Here we go. So, one. All right, 20 hits at the start there. That is a very nice start. We are at 33 hits already. We're about to get sent into the heavy room. So 38 as we get sent in to the heavy gunner room here. We're going to manipulate Tails. Tails is going to turn around and just fly, hopefully, allow us to get up here and dodge any of the missiles that come in. So we're at 37, I said, as we're going to leave the area here. So hitting the boss again. All right, so we are at 46 right now. Ooh. If you said 64, you are today's winner. We got 64 hits on the boss there. And with the boss now defeated, the Phantom Ruby is reacting to the Chaos Emeralds here. Because we have all seven Chaos Emeralds, we now get taken to a final secret zone, only accessible by Sonic or Knuckles and Knuckles mode. So now we have the Heavy King here stealing the Phantom Ruby inside this weird null space area. Dr. Eggman, of course, not having any of that, fighting back. And now we have these two evil super geniuses fighting against the Phantom Ruby. It is up to Super Sonic with the power of the seven Chaos Emeralds to try and stop them. So we are going to hit ourselves on the boss there and then deliberately go in there and try and get knocked down. But unfortunately, didn't get the angle we were needing there. So the way this boss works is simple. We are going to rotate between the bosses. We do not want to get hit by any of the giant orbs that, that lovely Heavy King here has. If we can sneak through them and get a quick hit from the bottom, that is exactly what we want. Eggman himself is a pushover. And uh, the time is coming up on the final hit on Eggman. I will let you know when that is coming up. That it is coming up fairly soon. The stage, of course, constantly spawning rings here. We also have an infinite... Uh, magnet shield effect as well. We can also fly, but we don't really fly much. We also have the ability to spend five rings to do a really cool light dash effect. But once again, we don't need to do any of that, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to go in. We're going to try and jump into the little gap that we made there. But unfortunately, he has the orbs not only circling him, but also phasing in and out from the foreground and the background there. So we're trying to make sure we get as many quick hits as we can. Boss coming through, getting those quick hits there. That is what we're looking for. Coming up to the end of the stage. As you can see, the end game timer is a little bit wonky right now. As we get to go through to our last couple of hits here. One more hit on the Heavy King, if I have counted correctly. Two more hits on Eggman here. So one more for each of them. Let us find out if that is going to happen. There we go. Time is coming up. And time. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else, that is Sonic Mania, Sonic and Tails, good ending, finished in... As long as it's less than an hour, I'm happy. Oh, 56.43. Yay, there we go. Considering I missed a few of the glitches there, we missed the Flying Barry 2 boss skip, and we missed the Oil Ocean boss skip, I will happily take a 56 there, so... Very, very happy about that. Again, thank you everybody for helping the marathon hit 500 dollar -y dues. Hopefully, you continue doing it. I know the marathon's still got more fun to go. And again, a big thank you to the folks over at Speedcon for accepting my run and to Nordic Soy for being my host for the run. And thank you, Argic. This was it's always good fun. It's always. Now, now would you say your run might have been a little uh too easy? Piece of cake. <laughs> it is definitely one of my favorite runs. Would I say it's easy? I, that does a, dis a disservice to everybody trying to learn the game. So no, like, a lot of effort is put into to the run here. So it is my favorite one. Um, it is pretty uh, pretty difficult, especially when you're trying to do some of the gl glitches, you know. But that soundboard, I love that soundboard. That soundboard's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much once again. We are going to take a quick break. Then when we come back, we are going to have Skylar and Pluck's Adventure on Clover Island. Now, just a quick note. There is a bid incentive. There's a bid war going on for that game. Uh, right now, it is between the outfits that you can choose. Uh, right now, or the skin choice, I should say. 
and it's between Sonic and Samus. So if you want Samus to win, you need to get some donations in right now because we're going to go to intermission, we're going to come back, and we're going to have Skylar and Plux. So we'll see you shortly.